To be able to automate testing, we've created a language called Gherkin. Gherkin is a language in which we can express test scenarios in a manner that an automated tool, one of the very common ones is called Cucumber, can actually execute the tests without human intervention. Because testing is so crucial in the world of IT applications and because it is so pervasive, it, you need so much time doing testing. Actually, studies of IT projects in the past have shown about 45% of the effort to deliver an IT application was testing. We're, we found ways of automating that, and the secret is in the language of Gherkin. So let's talk very briefly about what Gherkin is. There's a whole lot more you could learn about it, but this is going to give you at least the gist of it, because we're going to be talking about expressing test scenarios in Gherkin throughout this entire section. If you started off with a user story, we have here a good example of a very simple user story, a goal-focused user story. To plan their career development path, students can see all classes that offer necessary training topics for the upcoming six months. Now, if that's a user story, and we need to get test scenarios before, remember, we're doing this before developers write the application. If I look at that and I start to think about what are the scenarios that I would have to set up in order to be able to test this? It's a very obvious one, first off. And the, uh, the scenario is I have a student who's going to request a recommended, the recommended training topics. That's the whole purpose of this user story. The, the format of Gherkin or the structure of Gherkin is a, called the given when then. And the given is basically anything that you, you have to establish that has to be set up in order for this test scenario to have validity, to be able to deliver the results that you need. And so given Fred, our student, is logged into the website, and Fred has completed BASE, which is a business analysis skills evaluation, and Fred has unfinished training topics. So we've set up three conditions. Now the given says, and, and when uh, Cucumber interprets this, it's going to establish these as its starting point. When Fred requests training plan, this is an action that triggers this particular test scenario. Then, and then is the outcome. Fred's customized training plan is viewable. The given when then format, it's a very basic structure, a very simple structure that we're going to be using uh, and expressing all, all of our test scenarios because ultimately, properly written, the GWT or given when then is going to be able to be executed at time and time again. And every time a developer makes a change to the application, all of the old test scenarios that have been executed that led to our current system are going to be run again in regression tests. And it'll prove that not only did we add the new functionality, we didn't break anything else. That's the basic, the, the basic concept of given when then. Because I had given you the example of Fred and he established certain conditions, uh, he is going to get his plan. So everything is focused around a constant Fred. Well, obviously every test is not going to be about Fred. In order to be able to take advantage of test data engineering, in order to recognize that a test scenario might have multiple tests, Gherkin also allows for the development of a scenario outline. A scenario outline is basically the same format, the given when then, but it now uses variables in place of constants. So instead of talking about Fred, we would talk about student, and then we could have in an example table a bunch of students, and each different student has different criteria, that are going to test different dimensions of the application. So to the scenario outline here, a very common one that most people can relate to, a user withdraws money from an ATM. Given name, now you'll see that less than and greater than signs around the word name, that implies that is a variable that I'm going to get out of, a, out of an example table. Given that name has a valid credit or debit card and their account balance is, again, a variable, original balance, when they insert their card, this is the action, and withdraw withdrawal amount, then the ATM should return withdrawal amount and their account balance is new balance, and the outcome is whatever is going to be displayed or shown on the screen. You can see here that we have several variables that are part of that process, so we need an example table. Now, the example table basically in Gherkin is following the word example, and you can set it up. You can see right here all of the variables that I mentioned in this scenario outline are now included in this table. I have here four different test cases that are going to be executed using the same test scenario. That's the whole concept behind a scenario outline. All I can test in this particular setting is whatever the test scenario defined, but I can now test it with different, vari uh, different values to make sure that it isn't something that only works with a certain value. I can make sure that, for instance, if the, whether the uh, old balance is nothing or whether the old balance is $10,000 in this case, the application 
will process that scenario correctly for that particular case. That's the whole idea behind Gherkin. The two constructs that we're interested in for the purpose of this section are the test scenario and the scenario outline. Again, test scenario has constants, has no variables at all. A seminar, uh, excuse me, a uh, scenario outline has variables that are going to be filled by using an example table following the word example in Gherkin. That's the way we're going to be talking about these whole uh, test scenarios.